Hey, hey, Spring Will Face and Play Tarot. Okay, Gemini, this is going to be a special message for you. We're just going to see what we get for Gemini. Gemini. So, this is for Gemini. Special message for the sign of Gemini. If you have Gemini on your birth chart, be reading for you. Okay, loom coming out. Okay, look at that. Okay, Gemini. Wow. Wow. You got lots of choices. Okay. Okay, Gemini, where you weren't seeing something clearly before with the moon card, you're seeing it clearly now. And you're moving forward quickly in your whatever your endeavor is or whatever you're going towards. Um, you are, with justice being here, it feels like it, you have brought balance back. It's like you have dealt with a lot of, um, could be karma in the past, or uh, relationships that had no growth. And it's like, now you see things clearly, you are moving forward, you're balancing things out beautifully, and you are looking at the truth, because I'm drawn to the swords you are seeing the truth in whatever this is, whatever you are going towards. Uh, you've got the full card here because I feel like that um, you are starting new. You are starting something fresh. And you're moving along fast. You're moving along towards your new beginning fast. Um, now, I feel like that this is you taking on this King of Wands energy. Uh, don't look at it being as a king. You know, this is just an energy. I feel like that you are, um, you know, you may you may be in going into a new endeavor, and this could be job related, this could be relationship related. You've got lots of choices, you've got lots of uh, avenues, you've got lots of paths. It feels like that you could go on. Okay, let's see. Please clarify the moon. Please clarify the moon. Okay. Not a wands reversed. See, it's like you're seeing clearly now about money. Something to do with money. See, it's like here, it's like you're trying to look. You're trying to figure it out. Well, it's reversed. Whatever it is, you figured it out. You're moving quickly. Um, and for some of you, you know, this may not be about money, but it feels like for a lot of you it is. If This feels like it's uh, what they're showing me so far. Is something to do with stability or abundance or a job or uh, moving forward with an, um, a venture that could um, bring forth abundance, it feels like. Okay. Okay. Justice, I, w I was, that's what I was clarifying, and you got the hermit. So, it feels like that you, you're being guided now. You're letting yourself... Um, move along your path smartly. Um, it's like, you, you you know, you've had a lot of things happen in the past that, that had to do with karma, and it's like, you know, you've dealt with that. You're, you're, you're moving along. You're not... Um, you're moving along in a way where you can go forward without having to worry so much about making the wrong choices. Because you have learnt from your lessons, we'll put it that way. The full, the full. Okay, two of swords. You see, that's about having to make a choice, needing to make a choice. So, you've got the fool here. I feel like this has to do with a beginning. It has to do with beginning something. But you need to make the choice. Are you going to do that? It feels like you are moving quickly. So, you're going to come to this choice. It's like you're seeing clearly something about money, something about stability, or something about a choice that needs to be made. You start moving quickly towards it, and it's like, bam, then you come up here with the fool, where you've got this new chance, this new, you may have a new venture that's come up in front of you. Maybe an opportunity has come open. And um, it feels like for many of you, you have many opportunities that have come open. And it's like you need to make that decision. 
King of Wands, King of Wands, King of Wands. Tell me more about our King of Wands. Okay. Moving. Uh, some of you may have recently moved. Some of you may be going to move. Uh, and some of you may be switching jobs or um, trying to find a job. And that's why, you know, you, this choice has come open. Uh, but for some of you, this is actually about moving. And uh, for some of you, it's about moving away from something that may have not have been uh, fulfilling. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Some of you, okay, we got the Emperor Reverse. Some of you were dealing with uh, someone who was like a tyrant. Someone who, oh my goodness, they were like a ruler. It's like they run something like a tyrant. Like they were just, you know, ruling the world and, and not in a good way. So, yeah, that could have been a boss. That could have been a um, someone in a relationship. And it's like you want to move away from that. Yeah, you've got choices and you see it. It's like you see it. You know, I feel like with that person, it was all about drama. You know, stuff, it's like there may have been arguing, fussing, fighting, whatever this is related to. Okay. Okay. If this is um, job related, yeah, see, it's like um, feeling like you don't have opportunities. See, this is like having opportunities. All those keys to choose from. You feel like you had no opportunities if this is job related. And it's like, bam, they open up. Yeah, see, where you once felt like you didn't fit in, it's like, see, it's like you, you have things open up to you. It's like choices, you know, opportunities that help you to balance things, help you to bring things into a perfect, you know, and it's like you've got all these opportunities for um, those of you that this is work related and you just need to make the choice. You need to make the decision. You need to follow your gut on that because you want to stay balanced and you want to pick the right choice. You don't want to walk on no eggshells with anyone any longer and you don't want to end up with a tyrant as a boss. Okay, for those of you that this is love related, bam, there you go. The tower has fallen and someone is moving away. That's what I was feeling with this Seven of Swords here. Tell me more about this. For those that, that this has ended with love. Okay. Where you once... <clears throat> for those of you that this has ended with love. Okay. You know, you once felt like this was happy. And for some of you, this could have been a marriage. Because we get the hair fall, or a long relationship. Um, and, you know, it was very, it felt very giving and very happy. We've got the Sun card here, the Yes card, and we've got the Knave of Wands. Tell me more about the relationship that ended. It's like God had to step in. Something that seemed happy at one point in time and very giving wasn't. Something happened. Something wasn't. Someone didn't see someone's worth and value. We've got the Queen of Wands. Um, it's like someone wasn't giving. It's like they stopped giving. They stopped giving to this. They stopped. And it's like when they did that, someone shut the door. They just shut off to it. And the other is watching. It's almost like someone got lazy. They quit giving. See, they stopped giving. Um, and then that caused the other person to get all in their head because... They felt like they'd been abandoned. For, oh my God. For some of you, this person puts you in a third party situation. So that's for some of you, but not for all of you. Wow. Okay, so. In this standard, I'm going to ask a little more about this person. And I'm also going to ask a little more about um, the job related. So, yeah, that will be the description. The link will be in the description below. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for being with me. Give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And much love and light to all of you. Bye.